Good morning, Grizzlies. Grizzlies. This is Brianna. Hector with Sports News. And I'm Maureen with your GN and your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. Over this past weekend, Spring Valley's Model United Nations team participated in the annual University of California Irvine High School Conference. With all their hard work, the following students helped double last year's winnings by bringing home 10 prestigious awards. When you see these students, please congratulate them on all their hard work. Research awards were awarded to Patrick McKeever, Tacey Clifford, Zachary Billet, Kyla Mendina, Andrew Mendez, and Kenny Doe. The following students worked diligently to place in the top of their individual committees. Andrew Mendez, representing Kuwait in the UNEP, earned a Commendation Award. Patrick McKeever, representing Kuwait in the first district, earned a Commendation Award. Taylor Wilkerson, representing China in the UNEP Award, earned a Commendation Award. Tristan Gorst, representing China in Historical League of Nations, earned the Outstanding Delegate Award. Are you ready to play back this school year? The last remaining yearbooks will be $100 a piece. Remember, last year we were sold out, and we have less than 80 copies left to sell. Amelia D'Amelio, did you know that you were on page five? And Cisco Martinez, did you know you're on page 74? Don't be one of the students who doesn't have this book full of memories. You can order yours now at jostens.com or pay the banker. For those who did buy the yearbook, it is time to get excited. Dis distribution day is May 3rd. During lunch, you can pick up your book at room 2213. Grizzlies, have you ever wondered what it's like to stroll through the streets of London? Have you ever thought about visiting Buckingham Palace to see queen, the Queen or soaking up the ancient culture of Dublin? Spring Valley is organizing an awesome nine-day trip to London, Dublin, and Wales for April 2019 and wants you to attend. See Ms. Berterosa for more information and plan on attending the parent meeting on May 17th at 6 p.m. in room 223. Hope to see you there. Relay for Life is this weekend. Let's get excited for the annual fundraising event. Hey Grizzlies, don't forget Relay for Life is this Friday. Relay is 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Be prepared to be up all night long having fun, playing games, eating good food, all while raising money for cancer. If you did not already pay and register for Relay, then it will be $40. See you there, Grizzlies. Now here's Hector with our sports news. Thank you, Brianna. This week in sports, today's men's volleyball plays at Clark starting at 5 p.m. Varsity baseball plays against El Dorado at home. Varsity softball plays at Gorman at 3.30, and the golf team will go against Bonanza at Siena Golf Course. Now here's Maureen with some uh, more news around campus. Thank you, Hector. May the 4th be with you. Black Friday Spirit Gear will be on sale this Friday. Hoodies for $10, shirts for $5, liquidations prices. Black Friday is May 4th. Don't miss your chance. Attention students taking AP Biology next year. Please stop by by 9.15 to pick up a summer reading assignment and check in with Mr. Fouts. Thank you for your cooperation. Fiona and Yesenia went out to find more information about the bathroom murals. Here's a clip. Over spring break, Allison spent her time decorating the bathroom stalls with colorful, inspirational messages. So I'm here with Allison. And I was wondering, what was your inspiration or why did you paint those pictures in the bathroom? 
I saw a school in Texas do it and I just thought it was really beautiful and it would be nice to generally make our school nicer. Do you have anything to say about what happened afterwards? Um, good on the girls. They're treating it really nice and I really appreciate it. The boys, some of them were ripped up, but there's always that 5% that'll do it. But the girls are going strong and I really appreciate how everyone appreciates me and what I did. Thank you. And today I'm here with Nadia to talk about the inspirational quotes that we've been seeing in the bathrooms. I think that the quotes are really great. I think it's spreading a lot of love and positivity between everyone and encouraging self-love, which I think is awesome. And I'm here with Yasmin to also talk about what is the purpose to have these messages in the bathrooms? Well, I believe it helps students motivate themselves and feel inspired instead of going into the restroom and feeling doubtful about themselves because they all need to be cheered up somehow. Thank you, Fiona Yesenia. It's that time of year to vote for students, teacher, and support staff of the year. The deadline to submit your vote is Friday, May 4th at 11 a.m. Only one submission per student. Today's weather will be a high of 67 with a low of 52 and cloudy. This was Maureen, Hector, and Brianna of the Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.